Hey you guys, it's Peter and I'm back. Yes, for another rant. Can you believe it? I thought yesterday would be the last rant of 2018, but listen, one person commented and said, there's a lot of time left in 2018. I am sure you will find something to rant about and sure as shit I did, okay? I am at the mall trying to find an outfit because we are going to this stupid ass Studio 54, which yesterday I called 51, but it's Studio 54 party today, okay? So I'm like, well, I don't know where to go. So I went to Urban Outfitters and I found something, and I'm gonna talk about that in just a second, but can we just talk about something? Okay, can we just talk about this person? Look at how close they parked to my car, okay? I, like, listen, I'm in a rental right now, so I have to be very careful. I had to, like, get in my passenger side door. I had to, like, climb over everything. I'm, like, stumbling around like this. I almost knocked out my coffee. I'm so over it, okay? I am so tempted to go home and get a notepad. This is how desperate I am, okay? Get a notepad and get a Ziploc bag and write down, listen, you mf -er, okay? Why are you so stupid that you parked so close to me? There are, and I'm like in a restaurant away from the mall because I don't have to, like, there's no parking spaces in there. So I parked at this restaurant, Sullivan's. There's like 10 parking spaces over there. There's no reason. But I did notice that I had parked a little bit over the line. But it, this car wasn't there when I got here. It wasn't. So they could have parked way down there, okay? They're just stingy and they didn't want to walk. So anyway, so I go into the Urban Outfitters. Now, I found all these cute shoots. Sh <laughs> I found all these cute shoots. I found all these cute shirts, okay? But I'm fat. And that's a problem when you're fat and you want to go into the Urban Outfitters because they really cater to a size uh, extra small, right? So I ended up finding this shirt, which I think is so Studio 54. Let me tell you what, okay? Well, this is kind of a happy rant, this part of it. Back in the day, oh, I also got uh, I also got glitter for my hair, because that's real Studio 54. And then I also got, oh, they why did they wrap this up? I also got uh, this black nail polish, because this is going to be my picture going into 2019 with black nail polish. So get ready. You can go over and check that out on my Instagram. You can also check out me and my husband's new couple's Instagram. It's going to be all about how much in love we are. But anyway, my husband's, um, he's at home right now. He's not feeling very uh, good t today. He's like, I don't know what I ate, but I don't feel very good. And I said, well, maybe we should just stay at home and watch Bird Box again. He goes, not go out on New Year's Eve. Oh, my God, not go out on New Year's Eve. We'd all die, wouldn't we? So I go into the Urban Outfitters. Now, here's the problem with the Urban Outfitters, okay? I do love the Urban Outfitters, and they have some of the cutest shit in the entire world in there. They got all, they're bringing back, listen, they're bringing back the Fila, and they're bringing back the Champion, which the Champion's like, I love Champion stuff. I got a fanny pack Champion in there the other day, and my car's in the shop. Did you see they just moved? How did they get into their car? What? Oh, they're gonna, oh, okay. Y'all parked kind of close, don't you think? You parked awful close. So anyway, she, to she tore out of there. Look at that. She didn't have nothing to say. Never do, do they? Anyway. So anyway, what was I talking about? The champ, the champion. My car's in the shop. So I talked to the car guy today and he goes, well, we have to do this and we have to do that. They have come up. I feel like this car place is just like, let's just try to fuck everybody at the holidays, right? So they come up with all this stuff that I have to have done with my car because it's over 200,000 miles if I want to keep on making it work and all this kind of stuff. And to be real honest with you, everybody in the world told me to get a new car, but my plan was to try to make this car last for like two years because quite frankly, I don't want a car payment. I'd rather go on trips, okay? I'd rather go on trips and get rid And I almost don't have a car payment, so it makes more sense for me to make it last anyway. But I'm sitting there and I'm thinking about do you ever, does your mind work this way? I'm thinking about going to the Urban Outfitters and I'm talking to the lady, on, or the guy on the phone and I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And he's like, yeah, and we need to fix this and we need to fix that. And I feel like I'm up in the jiffy lube again when they throw me like one of those little like coils or whatever and they're like, this couple is so cute over here. He opened the door for her and then he kissed her, honey. Stay tuned because when you're pregnant and have three kids, those days are over. He's out at the bar all night long. But anyway, young teens in love. Isn't that so cute that they're so romantical and everything? Oh my God, they're probably home for the holidays. They're never going to see each other. And she's probably already got his baby. And anyway, but, uh, so, oh, he's handed her some leftover food. Oh my Lord. 
that's what my husband and I do. We feed each other. That means love. Okay, so anyway, um, so I'm sitting there and I'm talking to this guy from the car dealership and he's like telling me all this kind of stuff and I feel like I'm back up in the Jiffy Lube again, right? And I feel like when they're showing me things and they're like, air schmader that you get this change every 3,000 miles. I'm like, no, I'm good. And then they come back out and they're like, they show me some little coil or screw and they're like, yeah, screw you. Uh, air schmader, you change the screw every 4,000 miles. I'm like, no, I'm good. And they're like, maintenance warranty says, and they use all this language that I don't even know, right? And that's what I feel like I'm talking to this guy, but I really do trust the shop that I got my car at, okay? So I'm sitting there and I'm talking to them or the guy on the phone. And I'm thinking to myself, I need to go to Urban Outfitters because I need to get me an outfit to go to the Studio 54 party, right? Because that's really the most important thing of the day. And as I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about how I was up in Urban Outfitters about a week ago and I bought this Champion Fanny Pack, right? Well, this Champion Fanny Pack just happens to hold maybe the finest lip gloss in the entire world. No, not Manny Moo as lip gloss, but I would like to get that. But it does have the most finest ass lip plumper and lip gloss in the entire world. And I'm thinking, I want this lip gloss and lip plumper to go out. I mean, I want to look like Miss mm, Cardi... Uh, I saw a card in there, okay? True story. I just put it on my Instagram and it said, here is a happy birthday card E. I loved it. So anyway, and then there was a Bob Ross painting, a birthday card, and I tagged James Charles and Nikki Tutorials because they did a full face of uh, Bob Ross. Anyway, they'll probably not even get it because they've moved on from that. But it doesn't matter. So anyway, I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself, well, I do want this fanny pack and I do want the lip gloss and the lip plumper because I'm going out tonight to the Studio 54 party and I want to look like Kylie Jenner at Studio 54, just my lips. Not the rest of me. The rest of me, I want to look like one of those bearded, super muscular, you know, uh, fashion model, Instagram models. You know what I'm talking about? Couture, okay? That's what I want to look like, couture. But 46 with a beard, that's what I want to look like, okay? That's why I tag all of my Instagram pictures, like bearded gay, gay beard, all, silver fox, all that kind of, I do, I do, because I want to be known for that, the silver fox of the world. But anyway, so those are like the Instagram accounts that uh, like, what was I even talking about? No, I was saying that I want to be like Kylie Jenner with the lips, but everything else you can keep. I don't like her. I don't, I, she's She bore a snake. Anyway, have you ever watched her, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, her vlogs? Oh my God, her and her best friend, they just bore a snake, wouldn't they? I literally, right now, I have an audience of three, okay? I have this dude that just pulled in backwards over here in this parking space, and I have these two people over here that are eating their food from God knows where, okay? Sitting in their car, and they are staring right at me, and I don't give a fuck! I don't, okay? I'm a vlogger. By the way, I did predict that a celebrity was going to start vlogging in Lan Lana Del Rey, who I love, by the way. Okay, so she did say that she was going to maybe start vlogging. Did y'all see that? Anyway, so I'm thinking, I need to get this champion fanny pack. So I say to the guy, I say, well, how late are y'all open till today, right? And he goes, well, we're open till uh, 5 o'clock today. And I'm looking at my clock. I'm looking at my uh, phone, and I look down at it, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, it's 4.15. I got to go to the Urban Outfitters. They had a cl they're closing at 6, and I got to go here, and I don't want to get stuck in traffic and all this kind of stuff. And I said, well, I have, like, kind of an important question to ask you. And he goes, okay. He goes, what is it? And I go, well, I go because they're moving my car from one shop to another shop down the street where they're going to do the actual work on it. And I said, are you get you've moved the car. You're getting ready to move the car. And he goes, no, we sent a driver over. They're moving the car right now. And I said, okay. I said, well, listen, I got a very important question for you. I said, I have this champion fanny pack in the back seat of my car. And I said, and I know it doesn't sound like it's real important, but I got, I got some stuff inside of it. And I even, I swear to you, I said, I have lip plumper and kind of like an expensive chapstick in there that I really when I tell you there was crickets on the the other side of the phone, okay, you have absolutely no ideas, okay? Crickets out the ass, okay? I literally felt like I was in a field in the middle of summer, and all you heard was crickets, okay? And he goes, sir, <laughs> we will make sure to have that fanny pack at the front desk, and you can come and pick it up anytime before 6 o'clock, sir. Did you get the sir in there? I said, okay, well, I really appreciate it because it's very important to me. So then I come over here to the mall, right, where there's not a parking space in sight. So I have to park next to this person over here that being a bunch of assholes. And they can't even park. You know, they're so close to the lot. I'm like, listen, I might have gone over the line just an inch, but not much. And like I said, there's 10 spaces. So anyway, and I thought I'm being real neighborly, okay? I'm being a good citizen. Yeah, listen, we learned that in first grade to be a good citizen. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to be a good citizen. I'm going to park way out here in the parking lot. Ain't nobody gonna be bothering me. When I came out here, there was no other cars out here, okay? So I was like, I think I'm being a good citizen, letting everybody else have the parking spaces. Because listen, in 2018, one of the things that I learned was maybe they need it more than I do, and I ain't going up and down the roads and up and down the roads. I'm just not doing it. 
So I go up into Urban Outfitters, right? And I get me like three shirts and I'm sitting there and I'm going into the waiting area. Okay. Oh my God. This is a waiting, this uh, waiting area. Uh, try on clothes. What's that called? Where, uh, the, the the rooms yeah, where you go try on the clothes. I don't I can't even think straight. I don't know what those rooms are called. But anyway, I go up into the try on rooms. What are those called? Why can't I think right now? Yesterday, I couldn't think of Studio 54. I called it Studio 51, like a complete asshole. And today, I can't think of what those rooms are called. Do you, do you have, uh, it doesn't matter. So anyway, there's like, they got this big room in there, okay? This huge room with like literally like six of the try-on rooms. What are those called? I can't think. I'm losing my shit. I lost my mind. I swear to God, in February of 2018. In 2019, like Jesus, I hope I find it back again, okay? But anyway, so I'm in there in the try, looking for the try-on rooms, and I have waited about 20 minutes. Now, there are these two gals behind me, sweet as can be, okay? And I have now sat and watched. Now, first of all, let me ask you a question, okay? Why are you buying a bunch of jogging bras up in the Urban Outfitters? That don't make no sense to me anyway, okay? Go up to the finish line. Go up to wherever you want to go. But why, go up to the Coles. Why are you buying your jogging bras up in the Urban Outfitters, okay? You, that, you go to Urban Outfitters to buy you something cute, Polaroid camera. You go in there maybe to get you a glitter fanny pack, something like that. You ain't going up into Urban Outfitters to buy no jogging bras, okay? And so I'll be getting real serious in my comment sections and go, Urban Outfitters has the best uh, jogging bras in the entire world. Blow it out your ass. So anyway, I'm sitting here and I'm watching these gals come in and out, in and out of these uh, try-on dressing rooms, dressing rooms, that's what it's called. And this one, these two chicks come out and it's a mother-daughter and I'm like, and she's holding all these jogging bras and I'm thinking to myself, why in hell's sake do you want your mother up in a dressing room while you are trying on these jogging bras? This girl had to be 23 or 24 if she was a day. And I'm thinking to myself, why are you in there with your moms, okay, showing her titties to the world? I mean, not that it matters, okay? But quite frankly, it's... Why do you need to do that? I don't understand it, okay? I'm just very confused. Is this like girls all getting up from the dinner table and going to a bathroom together? Because that shit pissed me off back in the day. Listen, y'all wanted me to be your gay best friend and that was good enough to go out to the bars with you. If you're getting up to go to the bathroom, you better take my ass too, okay? I don't like being sitting there with six girls because all my friends are girls and I'm sitting there at a fucking dinner table and all five of you get, or six, six of you, get up to go to the bathroom, okay? Oh, let's go to the bathroom. Then y'all go in there and you're in there for 20 minutes and I'm sitting the table like this, okay? And all of a sudden, I've been escalated from the gay best friend to the straight dude, okay? It's bullshit. I can't stand that. And so anyway, I'm sitting here, and I'm looking at these mother-daughter types come in and out, in and out of these uh, dressing rooms, and I'm like, what is taking so long? And this poor girl that was working there, one girl in the dressing room, okay? They got people sitting around. They got people sitting on chairs. They got sitting on the floor. I mean, it was too much. It was absolutely too much, right? And all I want to do is try on this shirt. Well, I'd originally, I had three shirts, and they were all extra larges, and I settled on the blue one. The other two were real cute. They were like pajama top shirt, you know, like silk ones, but don't nobody want to see me in that, okay? It looked kind of like Hugh Hefner-ish, and I am old, but not that old. So anyway, Anyway, and so I'm sitting there, and this girl behind me, I sort of got this one girl, okay, and she had a sweatshirt on. She kept on coming out. It looked like her hair had been, she'd have been at the dry bar getting her hair blown dry all day long. She's maybe 16 years old. Her and her mom both, okay, her and her mom, like, fully decked out in Lululemon out the ass, and she comes out every five seconds, and she's, like, swinging her hair, and her mom's swinging her hair. They literally tried on about 10,000 outfits, I swear to God, and then walked out and did not buy one thing. And this girl had, and I, she, the last outfit she came in was her sweatshirt from her high school, which is about the snootiest high school in Indianapolis. And I was like, mm hmm Girl, I know you with your cute little, uh, <laughs> over there high school sweatshirt and your Ugg boots. So, anyway. So, this one, these two girls behind me, they are so sweet, okay? And they're just sitting back there and I'm listening to their conversation because that's what I do. Don't stand behind me in a line, okay? Because I will know your entire personal business. True story. I'm sitting there listening to everything they have to say. So, I'm back there and I'm listening to these girls. And there, and this one girl goes, finally, she has had it, okay? And I, let me just tell you why I live for these girls, okay? I turn around at one point to look at them, and they are literally throwback to the 80s, okay? And they are living for Urban Outfitters and all of the retro shit. And I'm like, I love you girls, okay? I love you so much. Oh, by the way, when I was going out, they are selling fucking cassette tapes up in the Urban Outfitters for like $15, $20. And this chick was looking through all of them, and she's like, oh my god, they have all the ones I want. She's like, they have the Smiths. And then she goes, they have something else, like some band I'd never heard of before. And I go, honey, I go, I got two bags of those up in my basement. You want them? I'll give them to you. I can't give that shit away. And she's like, really? And I'm like, no, not really. I don't know you. I just met you at the Urban Outfitters. And I was just trying to be fucking friendly. By the way, I did run into two people that I knew up in the Urban Outfitters. So anyway, 
So I said, have you ever tried thrift shopping? I should have said yes. Give me your number because I can't get this shit out of my house. So anyway, but then I thought, because she goes, I just got a new Walkman. I go, you just got a new Walkman. I mean, I, the look at my face must have been total stun, right? Because I was like, who's listening to a Walkman in 2000? Is that shit coming back? Because I got about four of them in my basement and half of them don't even work. And I got the original yellow one. I Listen, this is why I'm a hoarder, okay? I can't throw this shit away because you just don't know. A Walkman might be worth like $10,000 in a year. It just might, okay? And it might just be out fitting me a bill to go on some fantastic trip to Thailand or something like that. Just a fucking Walkman, okay? That nobody even wanted back in the day and now we, we got, I got a yellow one, a sport one in my basement if you want it, let me know. I got all the cassette tapes too. And I said, well sister, I said, I, I said, sweetie, I said, have you ever gone to a thrift store? Because they got them out the ass at the thrift store. She goes, all they have is opera. I go, oh, real? all they have is opera? So anyway, so I got these three shirts and I go back there. So I love these two girls that were standing behind me and they had all the neon makeup on and the hair, you know, like the feathered back hair and all that kind of stuff. I was living for them, right? One of them even had a bl black biker leather jacket with the fringe on it. I was like... Oh my god, that reminds me of my girlfriend Misty back in the day that gave $2 blowjobs up at the bathroom. Okay, so anyway, she smoked the clove cigarettes too. I swear to god, Misty, get in your car and all you'd smell for days was clove cigarettes. Anyway, and maybe a little peach schnapps, but... So anyway, and you should, she should have smelled cleaner than she did, but so anyway, hey Misty, how are you? I, like I've talked about her in a lot of videos, okay? She met her a boyfriend, got up, they went to the up with people, traveled around the world with Christ, and now she lives in a half million dollar home in the suburbs, and she's driving a Range Rover, so it don't matter, but anyway, gotta love you, Misty. Uh, <laughs> but you gotta remember where you came from, okay? And you came from the bathroom floor in high school. So anyway, so I love these girls, but this one girl, finally, we're standing there literally forever, and I'm like up like this against the wall, right? And this girl goes, she goes, Jesus Christ, how long do these people take? And I turn around, I go, exactly. I said, I have been here for a half an hour. I'm ready to go. And she goes, I have things to do. And I go, I do too. And I'm looking at her and I'm thinking, is she going to understand this, right? And I go, I'm driving a rental right now. Now imagine this, okay? These two girls, I don't know, they're probably 17, 18 years old, sweet as they can be. Just decked out like the 80s vomited all over them. And I'm standing there, okay, and I'm just wanting to sing my woes to somebody. And I look at her, uh, this one girl, and I said to her, I said, uh, I said, you know, I'm driving a rental right now. And I said, my car is over in the body shop. And I said, I bought this champion fanny pack up in here last week. And I said, and I got a really high-end chapstick and lip plumper in there that I wanted to take out tonight. Uh, to my, the Studio 54 party I'm going to. And I thought we were going to connect, see, because I thought we had become friends up in the dressing room. You know how that shit happens when you're standing in line, you've been there forever, and everybody's, oh my God, uh-huh, you know, like that. And then you're friends for life. It's like going down in a sinking ship together. So I said, you know, I, I need to get this fanny pack. They close at five o'clock. I need to get there. I need to get this fanny pack, right? And I'm looking at her, and I'm thinking she's going to say, oh, girl, I feel you. I've been there, okay? I look at her. Crickets. I'm like, why does nobody understand the importance of this lip plumper and this high-end chapstick? I do not understand it. So anyway, I never did make it to uh, the, the body shop. And I guess I'm going to have to just go with this Kiehl's Fantastic Butter uh, Stick, which is so fantastic. And I do have an outfit for my Studio 54 party. And my husband is sick, so we couldn't do our Q&A. So we're going to have to do it tomorrow, I guess. But... It's just been one hell of a New Year's Eve so far, I swear, you know, and, uh, but I will tell you this, don't you ever, don't you ever shop up, up in the Urban Outfitters, you will be standing in there for an hour, I swear to God, an hour in the dressing rooms, the get ready rooms or whatever they're called, okay, forever standing in there, and just like, and I, like, listen, I was in and out, oh, this was the other thing too, so I got these shirts and I got extra larges, right, and then I went in there and they literally were like tense on me, which is great because I've lost a lot of weight, see, I've lost a lot of weight. Tiny claps. Okay, tiny claps. So I've lost a lot of weight. So I was like, holy shit, I'm in a large at Urban Outfitters. That shit don't never happen, okay? Because they don't make 2XLs, and I sure as shit wasn't going to try on no 2XL if they had it. Now, I'm a big girl, but I ain't that big. So anyway, now I used to wear 2XL, but I don't wear 2XL no more. Don't tell nobody that, okay? So anyway, so I got the extra large. Well, I got in there, it was like a tent on me, okay? It was like some big, uh, what do they call the moo-moos back in the day. Oh, no, not a moo-moo at the Studio 54 party. So anyway... And so I go back out there, and I'm, like, afraid to leave my dressing room. And I look at the girl, and I go, I'm going to be right back. I need to get a large. And she goes, okay. And I come back with this large. I need to tell you two and two. And I'm standing there, and I'm, like, thinking she's going to go just go back to the dressing room. She goes, it's going to be a minute. I go, oh, fuck's sake. Seriously? I was just here two seconds ago. All I want to do is try on this damn shirt, okay? So anyway, but I will tell you, okay, that the best part of the day, Cardi B props, okay? 
peace out deuces was that I fit into a large now. So anyway, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they changed your sizes and all that kind of stuff here. Get out of my video, dude. I will let you guys go. I hope you are having a better New Year's Eve than I am. I hope you have a fantastic 2019. And you know I will be back with some more rants. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. By the way, if you're going out tonight, even if you ain't going to no Studio 54 party, which you know you wish you were, okay? Be safe. Don't drink and drive. And take an Uber. Bye.